Hey everybody, what's good? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you joined me here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about all of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Now, of course, I do have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Some of them I've bought, some of them were gifted, some of them I've repurchased, mainly because these are the ones I'm drawn towards the most. These are the ones that I've constantly been using since the day I bought them and I haven't looked back ever. All of these have different pricings, all of them have different number of eyeshadows in the palette, but regardless, these are amazing. Now, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Preeti, I'm India's first cruelty-free beauty blogger. I talk about all things cruelty-free, which means products that are not tested on animals. I talk about veganism, sustainability, shout out to local brands, and a lot more things. Now, if this is the kind of content you resonate with, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and continue watching today's video. Now, it goes without saying that all of these eyeshadow palettes are cruelty-free from cruelty-free brands, which is amazing. They perform honestly as good or even better than the ones that are tested on animals all right so i'm going to start off with the most expensive eyeshadow palettes that i constantly use and then we're going to move towards the most affordable ones the first two are from huda beauty this is the naughty nude palette the recent launch and this is the rose gold edition palette this is quite old so let's talk about this one first now this is the first edition rose gold palette and this is what it looks like when this was launched it was literally the talk of the town everybody was going on about it and i bought this during a sale years ago and then i repurchased it again when it expired i unfortunately didn't get the latest edition unfortunately but this is pretty good nevertheless the latest edition one has better pigment doesn't have a lot of fallout but regardless this is a very good palette now what i like about this is that it gives you enough foils like these foils are so good the pigmentation is superb they look amazing on the eyes very easy to work with and these nudes are super pigmented and they work really well so if you're looking for an eyeshadow palette that has good pigmentation great for everyday nude makeup look decent amount of shimmers and very good foils right here that you can apply for events like weddings and everything this is a very good palette let's swatch this you guys i'm going to show you what i'm talking about so i've taken four colors right here and there you go so these two right here are foil eyeshadows. You need to be very careful when you place them. You can place them with your finger, better with the finger or with the eyeshadow brush. This is a matte. And this is a more satiny shimmer kind of a finish. It doesn't have a foil effect, but this looks stunning. It's a beautiful rose gold color. Let's pick some more colors to show you what I'm talking about. Look at that. This shade doubles up as a beautiful highlighter. I use this quite a bit for smoky eyes because this has a very nice metallic finish. This is a shade I don't reach out for very often because it's a very maroonish kind of a color that I don't think I'm ever going to use. I try to incorporate it every once in a while, but I just fail at it. So this is what the colors look like. I'm sure the newer palette has much better pigmentation and way better quality. Let's talk about the Naughty Nude. This is a palette that I've used so much since December. I got this during the Nykaa Pink Friday sale at 50% discount. What a steal. What an amazing eyeshadow palette, you guys. Honestly... It is stunning. The formulation is beautiful. The colors are amazing. It comes with a huge mirror right here. I'm going to cover it so that you don't get a super whack reflection of me. This is what the color scheme is like. It is so, so beautiful. Very wearable. The shimmers are excellent quality. The mattes are beautiful. They're so buttery. This, in my opinion, is one of the best formulated palettes from Huda Beauty. Quality is amazing. Yes, it's expensive, but this one palette is enough for a night makeup, a morning makeup, a nude makeup, even a makeup look for an event, engagement, wedding. This is stunning. Look at that, you guys, so stunning. The pigmentation is next level. This shimmer is the one that I use the most. I love this palette. This is a palette that I can carry with me blindly without worrying about a thing because I know I will have something to do, a nice brown smoky eye, a nude look, or even some shimmers for a very nice event. These colors right here are amazing. They look stunning on the eyelids. I love this palette so much. If you wanna splurge and you wanna get a good eyeshadow palette, worth every single penny every single rupee then this is the one the next one is this is all i need this is an eyeshadow palette from tan beauty it's an indian brand 
superb stuff you guys i am so impressed i bought this and i saw amazing reviews online and i really wanted to try it out for myself and i was so impressed the packaging first of all is beautiful i love this mirror right here superb not too big not too small enough to see your entire face and do a very good makeup look i love the color story of this palette you guys oh my god it is so good i love the number of nudes it has i love the bed of roses color this is so stunning for blush or even on your eyes these bright here are stunning let me just quickly swatch these for you look at that i've swatched all of the shimmers these are slightly metallic yet shimmery not over the top they don't have a lot of shimmering particles like glitter but it is stunning it's metallic and this color right here looks so beautiful on the eyelids this one the highlight color can be used literally as a highlight for your face and even on your eyes it looks so beautiful this color however doesn't work too well because it's not that pigmented or maybe i just got the wrong batch but this one is slightly disappointing we've got some nude colors right here so beautiful i love this shade for a blush it's so so beautiful this color and this one right here works so beautifully for a nice nude eyeshadow look and this one for the inner corner highlight if you don't experiment too much with a lot of different colors and you're basically a nude makeup kind of a person then this is a very good eyeshadow palette for you these colors right here are superb if you just want a slight pop of color for your entire look i think this palette is a superb all-rounder very very good stuff not boring at all i also like how compact it is it isn't too big it isn't too small it's actually pretty decent to carry around as well the next one is the nude tude eyeshadow palette from the balm i love this palette so much this was a palette that I experimented with years ago. I fell in love and then I bought it again. It comes with a huge mirror right here. Perfect for eye makeup looks. It comes with a tiny brush as well. Very useful actually. Not like those terrible brushes that don't do anything. And this is the color story. I love the old school vintage pinup comic kind of a thing going on. So beautiful. I absolutely love the Balm's artwork. I'm a huge fan of the pinup culture. I really like the whole oomph that it has. And the Balm does justice to that. Now the top strip is very very cool toned. It's definitely cool toned, especially this white color here, this rose champagne color right here, this wine color here, super cool toned. This bottom strip is very warm toned. It is great for a nice smoky look. Very very good stuff for specifically smoky eye makeup. The nudes, you don't have a lot of mattes in this guys. You don't have a lot of mattes in terms of this kind of a color to lay down the base. So you are stuck with this as the lightest color for a base which is great if you're looking for only a palette for nude smoky looks. So this is the color story, you guys. Very, very cool toned. Not the most warm toned palette. Very good for smoky looks, metallic looks. Now the mattes are super easy to work with, they blend beautifully, very very buttery, not a lot of fallout. I absolutely love this. This is a palette that you definitely need if you are into rock and roll chic, if you are into smoky looks every time and you know for sure that this is a palette that you will definitely use a lot for nighttime makeup look, then definitely get your hands on it. I don't see this as a daytime eyeshadow palette at all because we don't have a lot of mattes here to work for daytime except this guy right here which is quite dark. Now we're moving on to slightly more affordable eyeshadow palettes. These two right here from Makeup Revolution are some of my most used eyeshadow palettes. This is the Forever Flawless Constellation palette and it comes with a huge mirror right here. Check out that color story, you guys. So stunning. The main reason why I bought this palette, honestly, was not because of the color story, not because of anything, mainly because of the packaging and the names. You all know I'm super spiritual. I'm all into the cosmos and everything and astrology and whatnot. And this has words like celestial, universal, retrograde, asteroid, spiral, cluster, solar, Mars. Such beautiful names and beautiful formulations. Now, this is not the most pigmented eyeshadow palette out there but it's definitely a super palette for beginners i do use this quite a bit man especially this one right here is such a stunning highlighter shade it looks really pretty on the skin it looks really pretty even as an eyeshadow even as an inner corner highlight this palette has a very good balance of matte colors that are great for a nude makeup look very good color story when it comes to vibrant colors this is a pretty all-rounder palette because it definitely gives you a transition shade right here to put into your crease as you transition to a lighter color if you're going to do something very vibrant on your eyelid
Now, the one thing that I noticed with these eyeshadows is that you definitely need to go in with your fingers when applying them. I wouldn't say they are metallic. They are more like satiny, satin finish kind of a shade. So it doesn't look super shiny on your eyelids, but it looks stunning nevertheless. Now, this shade is called Celestial and it truly is so beautiful. Perfect for a highlighter, perfect for the brow bone, perfect for inner corner. What a stunning color. Don't use a brush for the first application. Dab it with your finger and spread it ever so slightly and then go in with the brush to soften the edges because this doesn't apply well with an eyeshadow brush. I've tried, I've failed. With the fingers, it's the best way to use it. Make sure to use a very good eyeshadow primer or even a good concealer, mostly a lighter shade so that this makes the color pop more. I'm gonna swatch a few mattes. So this is what the matte colors look like. Again, very, very beautiful. Obviously, the swatches on the hands are very different from when you apply them on eyeshadow primer or on the eyelids. Just to give you an idea of how they look on the skin, this is what they look like. I love these colors so much. This purple is very stunning, easy to tone it down, increase the vibrancy. You can definitely layer this purple on top to give a very nice metallic look. Either way, very good color story, strongly recommended even to beginners. This is the chilled palette, you guys. Look at how stunning it is. It is infused with hemp seed oil. I absolutely love it. I only bought this for the packaging and the names. It's super green, comes with a huge mirror, and look at that, you guys. Look at that color story. I've adjusted the brightness a bit so that you guys can see the colors. Now, these are my most used colors, not the glitter, sorry. These ones right here. These are glitters. I don't use a lot of glitters, man. It's just not my thing. The greenest one right here is called Plant. The other one's called Goddess, Bud, Leaf, Candyland. Cool, calm, exhale, relax. Absolutely love this. I'm going to intensify this shimmer right here. There you go. This looks so beautiful on the eyelids. These two look great. Makeup Revolution is anyway known for their amazing quality of shimmers and metallics. Even their satin finishes are really nice. Some of their mattes are a hit and a miss, but overall their shimmers and their metallic ones work really well. The best part about this palette is that you can do a very nice smoky look. This is such a beautiful color for a nice inner corner highlight beautiful transition colors and then you can add some pop of green i love that both of these palettes have very good transition colors a lot of palettes like even the balm doesn't have a transition color so it's very difficult to work with especially when you want a slightly lighter color the lightest in that is quite dark and it won't match all skin tones now the best part about these palettes is that they are almost always on discount either on hok makeup or even on nika both of these you can easily get them for like 1200 1300 on a good sale the actual price is 1800 or 1700 i don't remember but you can anyway get them on a very good discount the next two eyeshadow palettes are from k beauty this one is in self love and this one is in wild and free the artwork is first of all stunning the formulation is so so good now the first thing when you look at them you'll notice that they're super inspired by ColourPop. the packaging the mirror everything super inspired by ColourPop. the placement of the colors the circle everything when i saw this immediately i thought of ColourPop. I love the color scheme. You have a bunch of mauve colors, some berry colors. You have some good warm, some neutral tones. So this color and this one right here are beautiful for a very nice new transition on your eyelids. And these metallics are stunning, you guys. They look so beautiful on the eyelids. Now the mattes are something that I use very, very often because they are beautiful for transition on the eyelids. This pink is something I don't use a lot. Honestly, I don't because it's just not my color story. But these colors right here, the metallics look so stunning on the eyes. Very rosy, mauve beautiful to work with. The metallics are just something else. Else, man beautiful formulation this palette the self-love palette is something that i've used in majority of my youtube videos i always make it a point to link the eyeshadow the lipstick highlighter that i use in the video description and you'll notice that majority of the videos have this eyeshadow palette linked now the wild and free palette is super cool toned and neutral toned it's definitely not a very warm toned palette you'll notice it has a lot of browns a lot of olives a lot of grays very good for cool undertone skin these colors right here are actually pretty neutral and cool toned especially these two right here on the screen they look pretty warm but they're actually 
very very cool toned i think the warmest color right here might be this one and this one and maybe this one also but everything else is very very cool toned now this is not a palette that i would use in the daytime it's definitely an evening makeup look kind of a palette now it doesn't have a lot of metallics this one and this one right here are the only metallics the lightest shade is again very cool toned so i'm not sure how this is going to match every single skin tone out there so this is the color story right here Again, if you'll notice, it's so dark. It's definitely not for daytime, but I love this palette for evening looks. I do a lot of makeup when I step out to see my friends. I love makeup. I'm always overdressed. So this is a palette that I use quite a lot because I love how it gives you a subtle sheen. If you notice, it has a very subtle sheen, nothing over the top, no shimmers, no metallics. It's a very nice sheen that it gives your eyelids that just looks really nice and not over the top. Now, the next palette has been through it, man. It's so scratched. This is the Miss Claire palette and this is a number three. Uh, this was gifted to me by the brand during the Cosmo Awards. This is what it looks like. The color story is first of all everything. This mirror is huge. Absolutely love it. Okay, I'm going to cover the mirror because the reflection is bothering me now. This is the color story. So you see these metallics right here. They are very, very subtle, not over the top. The nude colors are stunning. The mattes blend so beautifully, not patchy at all. I am super impressed with this formulation. This is so, so affordable. I strongly recommend this to anybody that wants a good, affordable, budget-friendly eyeshadow palette that gets a job done. Very good color scheme. For a palette which is this affordable, it doesn't have a lot of fallout at all, man. I'm so impressed. Again, this is a very nude makeup look palette. Nothing over the top, no vibrant colors, nothing but just look at that, you guys. These will look so stunning on your eyelids if you're looking for a very nice neutral glam. Now, again, this is a palette for somebody who doesn't want to experiment too much with colors. Perfect for events, perfect for weddings, perfect for a basic nude makeup look for brunch. This is a palette you can use for morning glam as well as evening glam because you've got darker colors for a nice smoky look, a sultry look. You've got these light pinks right here. You've got these shimmers right here. A very nice highlighter shade, perfect for AM as well as PM makeup. I think this is a all-rounder palette and a definite must-have for anybody that wants glam on a budget. Honestly, I've done a whole makeup look with this palette and I was so, so impressed with the quality. We are down to our second last eyeshadow palette. Now, this one is from LA Girl. This one was gifted to me by HOK Makeup. It was just a gift and... Um this is what it looks like when you open it up. Now, it doesn't have a mirror, which is quite sad considering the number of eyeshadows this has. Oh my God, just look at it. I have used every single eyeshadow in this palette and I've used literally so many of the eyeshadows on and on. Look at the dents in these. Those are the ones that I've used the most. Now, right off the back, when you look at this, you'll notice it has a very good number of neutral colors, good transition colors, mattes, and a lot of good metallics as well. A transition shade is so important because when you put some color right here you see this color right here is a transition shade you need a transition shade because this will not blend out the same way you can't blend out dark brown all the way here because it's going to look so dark you want a lighter brown and then maybe a nude and then blend it all up right and for the number of eyeshadows when you divide it with the cost of this palette these are so affordable per eyeshadow All right, look at that, you guys. The metallics are so beautiful. They look so good on the eyelids. All right, there you go. Look at those colors, you guys. Look at this blue. Look at this teal right here. This, These two colors are something that I use regularly. I like using this for a nice uh, eyeliner look. Look at this olive color right here. Oh my God, this palette is everything. It is a palette that you definitely need if you want to play around with colors because not only do they have a metallic color for each, you also have a matte right next to it. So this color right here is a matte and then you have a metallic, a metallic. You have a matte right here and then you have a metallic. You have a matte right here and a metallic, which makes it so easy to do a very cohesive makeup look. I think this palette is an all-rounder. The last bunch of eyeshadows are from Nykaa, the Eyes On Me 10-in-1 eyeshadow palettes. These are so, so affordable and the quality, the finesse is just amazing. They blend beautifully. They look so good. The lasting power is amazing. I am super impressed. I bought all of these because I really wanted to try it out. This is a super peachy color story. A lot of orange undertones. Very, very warm beautiful for daytime for brunch it's really nice honestly this golden here right here is so beautiful now this is superb this is called beachside peach 
Now this is the color story of Beachside Peach. The metallics are so beautiful. The mattes are stunning. I love this palette. This is great for morning looks. Now the one that I have on my eyes is the Sundown or Sunset. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to swatch the colors that I have on my eyes right now. So this is what the Sundowner Stunner looks like. It looks stunning on the eyes. This is one of my most used palettes. This is the one again that I have on my eyes. I absolutely love it. Now the last palette is the Daydreaming palette. All of these come with the spoolies that I generally never use. I throw them away but this one is still intact. This is what the palette looks like. Super pink. Everything has a mauvey pink, very strong pink undertone. Even these colors right here have a purple pink undertone. Absolutely stunning. This is great for anybody that likes pink makeup looks, that wants a very flirty, floral, pink kind of a look going on for their eyes. Great for Valentine's Day makeup looks if you're into Valentine's Day. So this is what the color story looks like. Definitely super pink. If you notice, this has a very nice iridescence of pink and purple very stunning combination of colors all of these palettes are amazing and the most affordable ones from the entire range of eyeshadow palettes that i've spoken about today these are a steel deal you can get them at very good discounts as well and there you have it all of my most used eyeshadow palettes regardless of the price point all of these are amazing they swatch beautifully they blend beautifully they're not patchy at all the metallics are literally out of the world you've seen all of the swatches there's literally something for everyone in this video right from luxury to something that is super affordable now regardless of the price point these are amazing man right from the miss claire to the makeup revolution to the huda beauty the balm all of these are genuinely very very good K-Beauty literally took me by surprise last year. I'm so impressed with the formulations. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please hit a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these eyeshadow palettes. What was your experience like? Also, if you have any recommendations in terms of makeup that I should try out, let me know in the comments. I will definitely try them out. All right, I'm going to take your leave now, you guys. But before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my previous videos right here. I will catch you all in the next video. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye.